Hey guys, welcome to Proud and Mater. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the beginning to end process of how I made this 2D stunt bike game animation project in After Effects. Also, by the end of this video, I'm going to refer the tutorials and share the links for the techniques I used in this video. So make sure to watch till the end. At the very beginning of any project, I do some research on the topic and pick a pencil and a paper and do some basic rough sketches to put all the ideas on paper. For this one, I decided to use a dirt bike as I wanted to add some bike stunts in this animation. So I did some research on real life bike stunt sports to get some idea about the animation. And then did some thumbnail drawings for the key poses and this will be the key poses I will refer during the animation process. After that, I planned out the track based on the key poses. After everything is finalized, I started with the final design process. So I jumped into Adobe Illustrator and started designing the bike. For this project, I reused the bike design from one of my previous projects. Then I modified the bike design a bit by distorting the shapes and adding new shapes to make it look like a dirt bike. And for the character, I added a helmet. After that, I moved on with the bike track design. For that, I used basic shapes to make something similar to stone bridge. First, I designed a few stone shapes and then duplicated the shapes multiple times to make the bridge. Then I reused the mountains and the trees and the bushes illustration from one of my previous projects which actually fitted perfectly with this animation. And here are my final illustrations that I would need for this animation project. Then I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. So the rider starts riding on a plane track. After he reaches the first peak, rider does a backflip. Then in the next jump, he does a front flip and then a normal jump. Then the whole animation goes on a loop. So this is the overall idea of this project. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow for this animation project. In After Effects, I first started animating the bike on the track. At this stage, I am ignoring the character movement and the internal wheel movement so that I can properly focus on the bike movement on the track with the key poses from the initial thumbnail drawings. Now for this process, I took a white composition with a long white stone bridge illustration. So here, when we move the bridge on the x-axis, it is going to give an illusion of the camera movement. Now I duplicated the illustration of this bridge two times and placed it on two sides and parented it with the main bridge illustration. So now here I have the same pattern repeating after some time, so which I would need to make a perfect loop animation. Then I animated the bridge in X axis with the linear keyframes. After that, based on the bridge movement, I animated the stunt bike. For the bike, I separated the dimension of the position property. I only needed the bike to move in Y axis since the X axis is covered by the bridge movement itself. During the jump, I made the motion graph such that the speed is almost zero at the peak. So here I slightly tilted the bezier handle so that the movement is very little here and doesn't stop completely. Once I'm done with the bike animation on the track, I moved on with the character rigging process. I rigged the arms of this character with the rubber hose to plug in. So I added a hose for the arms. A hose created by rubber hose has a start controller and an end controller. From the end controller, you can change the few settings of the hose. So here I adjusted the length and the joint roundness. I rigged the leg with the help of the twig based plugin. I picked a leg structure layer to rig the legs and then animated with the twig controller. To distort the body layer, I added four pins for neck, chest, spine and hip and then converted the pins into bone with the help of the twig based plugin. Then I parented the head with the neck layer, neck with the neck bone layer and then spine and then with the hip layer. And then I parented the hip with the bike body and the thigh structure with the hip layer. So in this way, I rigged the whole illustration of this character. Then I also added some parallax effect in the environment animation to add some dimension in the background. So for the parallax effect, the elements that are closer to the camera will move faster compared to the elements that are away from the camera. Likewise, I adjusted the speed of the background elements. And this is how it looks. So these are the steps I followed throughout the project and this animation project is ready to render. 
So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few essential tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you want to learn how to create flat style illustrations in Adobe Illustrator, then you can check out my illustration tutorials. I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button right now to check out the tutorial. Also if you want to learn how to rig the face of a character using the Twig Bezier plugin then you can again check out my tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also if you want to learn how to rig and animate a full body of a character using the rubber hose to plugin then again you can click the i button on the top right corner right now to check out the detailed tutorial or you can check out the link from the description. Also if you want to learn how to rig the body of a character using the Twig Bezier plugin then again you can check out my tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Lastly. If you want to learn how to apply 3D parallax effect in After Effects then again you can check out my tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Alright so that is it for this video. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down. I'll be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.